Astra is one of the most popular teams in the world, with a more than 1 million active installation at the time. In this video we're going to take a look at their new version they released this week. And the most noticeable thing over there is a new header and footer builder. I'm not going to give you an overview of the old team, but I'm just going to take a closer look at the new header and footer builder. Before we start, let's take a look at the comparison here. So this is the free version and this is a pro version. If you have a free version, then you will have these elements in your header builder and these elements in your footer builder. So if you have pro version, then you'll get extra button here for widget areas and two HTML elements. And with a footer builder, you'll get extra buttons, one widget and two HTML elements. So nothing fancy here. Therefore, let's take a look how does it work. First thing, if you install the new version and if you want to use a new header and footer builder, you have to activate it here. If you don't do that, then under the header, there is nothing new. Therefore, click on the use new header footer builder and go to the customizer. Now you'll see there is a header builder new here, a footer builder new here. Click here and there are three rows for you to modify. Top row, middle row and bottom row. You can drag and drop the elements in a place you want to place the elements here or there or maybe below or here. If you want to modify the row itself then click on the cog icon here. You can change the height and under the design you can customize the color and background. You can rearrange all elements and if you want to add the elements then just click here and add the element you want to add and once again just drag and drop it where you want it to be. If you click on the element itself you can customize the button title and the link and design. For example 10 pixels for the button everywhere and border radius 50 pixels. If you want to add something to the top row, just click here and that whatever it is you want to add there. For example, search. And the search is only icon available, no search bar available at, at the moment. The header is rather easy to modify in a way you want it to be. But somehow I'm a bit disappointed because I have used the Bloxy team and Cadence team and and these teams have much more options to customize the header and the footer. Even the free version of the Bloxy and Cadence has more options than Astra Pro version. If you're interested, then take a look at the Cadence and Bloxy team comparison video I did a couple of weeks ago. I'm going to put the link to this video in the description of this video. So, this was the header builder. Let's go to the footer builder. Once again, click here. And everything works in the same way as it did with the header builder. Currently there are three widget areas here. But if I click on the cog icon on the left, I can choose the layout of the footer here. The same goes with the top footer row and the bottom footer row. Also you can choose the columns for every layout. width, vertical alignment, and you can design it as you want. And as with the header builder, you can customize it in a way you want it to be. But once again, if you're used to blocks or cadence team, then nothing fancy here. Yes, it makes your life much easier, but currently I think it needs more features. For example, cadence and blocks team have account element for the header. That means if you hover on your name, it shows you the menu. If you log out, it has modal login option here. 
all those elements are really needed and I think Astra should add them in the near future otherwise there is no use for the header builder as much as it could be so this was a quick overview of the Astra new header and footer builder yes it's okay but nothing really special here but if you're used to Astra team so far and you're using it on the other sites then it makes your life much easier now if you find this video helpful press thumbs up Subscribe to this channel and you will be the first to be notified about new tutorials. Meanwhile, take care.